Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! <laughs> Woohoo! Do you see Jane or Zumi yet? No. Sand Dune ahead, Leo. All right. Hit the brakes, Katie. They found us. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Look at this place. It's huge. <laughs> but I see you got yourself a sandboard. Nobody said ranger work can't be fun. We can take turns on it. Now, hold on to this tightly. Stand up straight. Don't let go. Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Stay put. I got him. Let's go. Head east. There is a cave where we can take shelter. Got it. Phew. Is everybody okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh, no. I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. Those big ears help it to release heat so it can stay cool in the hot desert. That's not all. Fennec foxes don't need much water and they have fur-covered feet to protect them against the hot sand. They're perfectly suited for desert living. But Hero isn't. And he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Fennec foxes use their paws as shovels to dig burrows in the sand. In fact, their burrows can go pretty deep. So, if we all start digging like the fennec fox, we should be out of this cave pretty soon. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the fennec fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers! Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! The sandstorm has shifted the sand around, but I'm certain this is the place. Hero! <laughs> the fennec fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack!
Look, a burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. Hero! 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 <gasps> You're okay. I'm sorry I left you behind. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow. A real-life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, but it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm. There's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not gonna lose it. <gasps> I lost it. Oh no, where did it go? Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah! Quicksand! <gasps> oh no! More quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook! Quacking? No. Quails? Not quite. Where's quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm. It's not a unicorn. It's an Arabian oryx. Oh, it has two horns, not one. That's right, Leo. We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! <gasps> my dirt bike! My book! My dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not! It's stuck in quicksand! Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah! Ranger, out! Let's go, Katie. Farah is trapped in the desert. My dirt bike! I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Farah. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horn unicorn. You mean the Arabian Oryx. Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? 
an Arabian oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there. Then that must be where the oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you. Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Ah! <gasps> Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there. There it is again. Where? There! G -g 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 ghost <laughs> But ghosts aren't real. Hmm. I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook. Thanks, guys. My turn. <laughs> wow! Oops. Uh-oh, it looks stuck. No biggie. I'll just climb up to get it. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Leo, help! It happened so fast. She was just beside me and now she's gone. I can't believe it. What am I gonna do? Whoa, Kyle, slow down. What happened? Who's gone? My Stella, look! Oh, Stella's just a toy. She's not just a toy. She's my best buddy in the whole wide world. And now she's gone forever. Snatched away by a kangaroo thief. A, a kangaroo, kangaroo thief? thief? Yeah, a kangaroo stole Stella from right under my nose. Luckily, I snapped a photo of it before it escaped. I'll send it to you. Is that Stella in its pouch? Yes, I really need your help to get it back. Don't worry, Kyle. Hang tight. We'll be there very soon. That'd be awesome. I'll share my location with you. Ranger out. Ranger out. There it is. It seems our thief is a red kangaroo, the world's largest marsupial. A red kangaroo? What's a marsupial? Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly made by a fold in their skin. They use it to carry their baby kangaroos called jellies. So now we know our thief is a red kangaroo. Let's head to Australia to help Kyle get Stella back. Let's have a look. Hmm, where are you, Stella? Aha, there she is. You see her? Yeah, have a look. Stella, it really is her. But why would a kangaroo want to keep Stella in her pouch? Where's her Joey? Who's Joey? Joey's are baby kangaroos. I don't think she meant to steal Stella. She might have mistaken Stella for her own Joey. That makes perfect sense, Katie. Stella does look like a Joey, which means all we have to do is find her Joey and swap it for Stella. Sounds easy enough, but how are we going to find it? <gasps> it's her Joey! Let's follow him! So, what's the plan? How are we going to bring the Joey back to his mom? It says here that red kangaroos are plant eaters. They mostly eat grasses and flowering plants. All right then, let's go pick some flowers. Time to go home, buddy. Stella! We're coming! Oh no! The noise from our vehicles must have frightened them. They're getting away! Kyle! We 
we've got to try to herd them back together. Herd? Like sheeps? Exactly. You approach from that side, and I'll approach from the other. Roger that, Leo. Just a bit closer. It's working. They're gathering in the middle. Wait, stop. We're about to crash into Kyle. Whoa! Whoa! Phew, that was too close. <gasps> They're getting away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stella! <gasps> Are you okay, Kyle? She was so close. I could have just reached up and grabbed her. What are we gonna do now? It'll be okay. We just have to find another way to get closer to the kangaroos without scaring them. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky! It seems the kangaroo isn't afraid of the pogo stick. One of the kangaroos mistook Kyle's toy, Stella, for her Joey. We found the actual Joey, but we're having difficulty swapping him for Stella. The mob got away from us too quickly. Well, if you need to chase after them, then you'll have to hop really fast. Kangaroos hop along on their powerful hind legs and do so at great speed. Their muscular tail helps with balance and speed. So, we have to be quick and we can't use our vehicles. I have an idea! Ranger Rocky, do you happen to have any spare pogo sticks? Of course, Katie. I always bring extras. Look! Kangaroo's up ahead! Stella! Come on, Junior Rangers. Let's check those pouches for Stella. Stella? Ah, uh, this one's a boy. This one's got her own Joey already. Leo, I think I see Stella in that kangaroo up ahead. I'll check. Katie's right. That's the kangaroo thief. Stella! Let's approach slowly. We don't want to scare her away. Go on, buddy. Go back to your mom. Aw, thanks, bud. Yes! I got Stella back! You did it! Well done, Junior Rangers! Hero! Hero, get out of the pouch! It's only meant for kangaroo joeys! <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on! <gasps> what was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm, that is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is, the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. 
Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look! It's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year, and it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can herd them. All right. Hang tight, rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh, no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! It's the Mama Hippo! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers! <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me! Sorry! Pardon me! Go to Mama! Yay! Now let's get out of here! I love a happy ending! Mission accomplished! Do you see the blue kingfisher? I can't see! Oh, I see something! Bye-bye, <gasps> birdie! Oh man, maybe next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? A meerkat. Huh? A meerkat is up on my head, Leo. Zumi and I found a family of meerkats looking for a new home. A family of meerkats? How many of them are there? A few. Do you know where we should take them? I think that's a question for our computer. To the treehouse? Race you there. Let's see. Meerkats. Here we go. Meerkats live in groups called mobs. They can be found in the deserts and grasslands of Africa. A mob of meerkats lives together in underground burrows. Living underground keeps them cool and safe from other animals. Everyone in the mob has a job to do. Some meerkats look for food, some babysit, while some are sentries. Sentries stand in high places and look out for danger. 
When they sense danger approaching, they warn the rest with an alarm call. The mob will then run and hide in their burrows. So, the meerkats on top of your heads must be the sentries. I guess they wanted a better view, but they cannot stay on top of my head forever. We need to help the meerkats find a new place for their burrows. Yes, we do. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go help the meerkats find a new home. Huh? Was that an alarm call? Hi, Jane. Oh, no. What's wrong? They are afraid of you and Katie. The sentry sounded an alarm. The meerkats think we're a danger to them. Don't be scared. We're here to help. Huh? What are they digging at? They are trying to get to their old home. But it doesn't look anything like an underground burrow. What happened? Hmm. The sand. It is damp. There was a flood. Ah, oh, the burrow was destroyed. Poor little meerkats. It's no wonder they're looking for a new home. Come on, Junior Rangers. It's up to us to help them. Let us help you find the perfect new home. I think they like the idea. They should do. All right. Hop on, everyone. Let's roll. Hero? Oh, it looks like we're full. But I'm sure we can find some space for you and Zumi. Do not worry, Katie. We will follow on foot. All right. Then away we go. It is you two again. Come now. Hang tight. This is perfect. There are trees for them to look out from, plenty of sand, and lots of open space for them to build their burrows. And look, neighbors. Aw, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute, what's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Uh-oh, we have to stop them. Huh? What's that? Is it a hawk? Is it an eagle? No, it is Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! And not a moment too soon. You've got to get those meerkats out of here. Meerkats aren't neighborly animals. They're territorial. Territorial? That means they don't like other meerkats that are not in their mob coming into their space. What you just saw was a meerkat war dance. By fluffing out their fur and raising their tails, they're trying to make themselves look bigger and scarier than they really are to chase other meerkats away from their home. Oh no! They're at it again! Meerkat sentries have a special call to warn the others of danger, right? Uh-huh. I know a way to stop them. Katie, on my command, I need you to play the meerkat alarm call on your tablet. The rest of us will grab our meerkats and get into Platypus One quick. Their alarm call? <gasps> oh, I get it. Sure thing. We're going to make them forget all about the fight. Rangers, are you ready? Ready when you are, Leo. All right. Katie, hit it. It is working! The meerkats are distracted by the call. Now's our chance to get them out of here. Quick, grab as many meerkats as you can. You're coming with me. We have to go now, meerkats. Pardon me. Whoops. Sorry. Ugh. This is uncomfortable. And that's everyone. Then let's get out of here. If you're looking for a new home for the meerkats, I know a place. So, what do you think? There's a lot of space for you to build burrows. And I don't see other meerkats around. There is also a tree for you, Sentry.
I think they're finally home. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.